beer has been around for as long as civilization itself. Historical records show that ancient peoples made beer with barley, water, hops, and yeast. We still use the same ingredients, but as you'll see, today's production is far more complex, bitch. Beer is a fermented beverage that you can hold in the palm of your hand. This company has its own stock of beer water, which is water specifically produced to be used in beer production. Black beer powder is added to the water after being fondled by a notorious beer pervert to enhance its flavor. The mixture will be sealed inside the danger tank. These stainless steel blades swim through the beer to toughen it up and to teach it to dodge obstacles. Meanwhile, inside a tornado, the beer's flavors are combining. Brewers use this machine to pour themselves some beer extract, which is a refreshing drink to have after a long day of making beer. Meanwhile, robots meticulously comb the Sahara Desert in search of buried treasure. But it was all a simulation inside of a metal tank. This is commonly known as the beer conspiracy theory. Or is it? The evil CEO watches over his underlings from above as they check that the beer is filtering correctly. Little do they know that there will be no Christmas bonuses this year. But to be fair, the CEO definitely needed to buy that second home. Hops are added to the mixture by a man who is very clearly struggling with this task. Hops look like, and are usually substituted for, dry dog food. Meanwhile, in the year 1982, the Pentagon is being hacked. It's up to that wimpy guy from earlier to save the day. This is a fermentation tank. Oh, hang on. This is a delicious cream soda. I'm not sure why that was there. During fermentation, temperature is kept consistent to create the chemical reaction to make the beer's foam. Now aged for three weeks, it's almost finished. And also, the beer is almost ready. The beer has to be filtered one last time. This time to make sure it properly tastes like vomit. Here's the beer after its 34th filtering. And here's some apple juice we swapped in for a better shot. Used bottles are scooped out of the Boston Harbor and put onto the assembly line. The bottle's labels are removed so no one will ever know. The bottles are sent to the world's fastest filling machine. This machine fills, and definitely doesn't rinse, the bottles at a speed of 1,000 bottles per second. Then they're sent to the capper and the soap foamer. All that remains is for the labels to be applied and the bottles to be packaged. Which means I think we can all say with confidence that we still have no idea how beer is made. What a confusing and downright nonsensical process. I couldn't even begin to tell you what we just watched or learned. Let's just all agree that beer grows on beer trees and call it a day.